If you use ChatGPT, then I've got something which I want to share with you, and it's probably one of the most useful GPTs that I have actually come across, and it's called Convert Anything. Now, this is the ultimate file converter for images, audio, video, documents, and more, and it also supports zip files. So, let's go ahead and show you how to use this. Now, please note that if you want to use a GPT, then you do need a paid ChatGPT account. Now, to find this GPT, we want to come over to the store, which is over here on the left-hand side where it says Explore GPTs. Then, what we want to do is come up to the search bar just here and type in Convert Anything, and it's going to be this top one just here. Now, if we click on here, it's going to open in a new tab, and with all the new GPTs that I start using, I like to ask a question first. So we're going to put, what do you do? Then we're going to click enter. So it says, I am Convert Anything, a specialized GPT designed to convert into various formats. You can upload files, single or batch uploads, including zipped collections as well. And I will convert them into a specified format. Now, let me just ask one more question, and that is, what conversions can you do? Now, let's just give this a second as well. And there we go. So, it can do document conversions like docx, PDF, text, RTF, HTML, and more. It can also do image conversions with JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, BMPs, TIFFs as well, audio conversions, video conversions, spreadsheet conversions, presentation conversions as well, compression and decompression of zip files, and code and script conversions as well. See, most of the time, when I'm looking to convert something, I like using tinywow.com. This has been my go-to site for many years now, because it's completely free to use, and you don't even need to sign up. But now, we have this GPT, here within ChatGPT, I'm more than likely just going to use this instead. So let me go ahead and convert this PNG just here into a JPEG. So what we're going to do is just type in, please convert into a JPEG. We're going to attach our file just here, which is this one just here. As we can see, it's a .png. We're going to click open. We're going to wait a second for it to upload, and then we're just going to click enter. Now, what this is going to do, sometimes it does have a little bit of an issue, but what this is going to do is convert this PNG into a JPEG, and it's going to give us a link which we can just directly download here within ChatGPT. Now, let's just give this a few more seconds, and there we go. We now have the link to download our converted image into a JPEG. So if we click on here, we can see up here it's downloaded. So that's how you can easily turn your PNGs into JPEGs as well. Now I have another file as well, just here, which is actually a GIF. Now we can see that because it's a .gif file. Now what we can do is actually convert this into an MP4. So let's type in, please convert this into an MP4, and we're going to attach that file, which is the .gif just here. As we can see, it's GIF in a way. And now we're just going to click open. We're going to give it a second to upload, and then we're going to click enter. Now again, this is going to take us a few seconds to do its thing, and then we're going to get a download link to where we now have this GIF turned into an MP4. And there we go. The GIF has been converted to an MP4 video file. You can download it using the link below. Now, if we click on here, it's going to download, and if we click on that file, we can see we now have a .mp4, and if we play it, we actually have a little video of that GIF. Now, let's go ahead and turn a PNG into a PDF. So let's type in, please convert into a PDF. I actually have this PNG just here, which is this little planner. So if we click on open, then give it a second to upload, we're going to click enter. Again, this is going to now do its thing, and convert it into a PDF. And again, there we go. So now if we click on the download link, 
it's downloaded as a PDF and if we open that up we can see we now have our perfect PDF. Now I have one more conversion that we're going to do and it's this PDF presentation just here. Now I have a few different pages, just four I believe, like so. And what we can do is convert this into a PowerPoint file so then we could upload and use it in PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and type in Please convert into a PPT file. We're then going to attach that. I believe it's this one just here. We're going to click open. We're going to give it a second to do its thing and click enter. Let's just give this a few seconds. And there we go. It's now converted our PDF presentation into a PPT file. So now if we click on download and if we take a look up here, we've got that PPTX file, otherwise known as PowerPoint. So again, I just think this is actually pretty cool and I'm really liking this GPT. Now one thing you can do, say you've had a whole conversation of uploading and converting, what we can do is now say, please can you create a zip file with everything that I have uploaded. Now we're going to click enter, then it's going to do its thing and in a few seconds we're now going to have a zip file of just all of the files that we uploaded. And there we go. So now if we click on here, it's going to download. And if we take a look up here in the right hand corner, we now have that zip file. So that's pretty handy, just in case you're using this GPT, but then you've deleted the files off your device. You can just simply come in and say, download everything that I uploaded, but in a zip file. So again, Come through and check this out. This GPT is awesome because it just does so many conversions. Again, with documents, images, audio, video, spreadsheets, presentations, compression, and so much more. And it's slowly becoming one of my favorite GPTs. Now, if you don't have the paid version of ChatGPT, but you still want to do conversions, then make sure to come and check out TinyWow. You can get here by going to tinywow.com. I will also link this down in the description below as well, because this has been one of my favourite tools, which hardly anybody knows about, and for years. And with this, you can do PDF conversions, so you can edit PDFs, PDF to Word, JPEG to PDF, merge PDFs, you can do lots with images, writing, video and files as well and again if you do want to check this out i am going to link it down in the description below now if you found this video helpful at all then please consider giving me a like as it does really help out the channel and if you're not too sure what to watch next then click right here and watch this playlist